Have you tried using transpose function in Excel and you ended up with this sort of an error? Well, that's a workaround for it and this is how you do it. First, select the area or the cell that you want to insert your transpose data set table. And then after that, you got to be aware of how many columns and how many rows you have. I've got six columns, which translates into rows and 11 rows, which is going to translate into 11 columns. So I'm going to select six rows, which is A to F and then 11 columns like this which I've got 11 rows and then you can start typing the formula equal transpose and then after that open parenthesis and then you're gonna select the data set that you want to transpose and then you go close parenthesis and here's the thing don't press enter quite yet press control shift enter that translates that formula into an array with an output of an array as you can see it's got curly braces if you look at the formula around your formula here. So that indicates that's an array. That's how you can do uh, the transpose function on your standalone Excel. But of course, if you have a, a Microsoft 365 subscription like this, you can just, you don't have to count number of columns and rows. You can just go ahead and type equal transpose and then select the data set table like this close parenthesis and hit enter and all that array and curly braces mumbo jumbo will be taken care by Microsoft 365.